Shalom, this is Boruch Rappaport for Torah Online, Chumash, and Rashi, with Parshat HaShavua, Parshat Mishpatim. Today we're going to be looking at Sefer Shemot, the book of Exodus, chapter 22, verse 30. Here's the Pasuk. V'anshe Kodesh, and people of holiness, Tihiyun Li, you will be for me. Uvasar basade and meat in the field. Terefa. I see they translate it as torn. It's it's often that way. Terefa is more like uh, attacked, pounced upon. It has a definition in Jewish law, a meat which is not kosher. Meat that is not permitted to eat. So, uvasar basader trefa lo sochelu, basar ubasar and meat basader in the field, trefa which is which is ripped apart. Lo tochelu, you will not eat. This is a command: thou shalt not. Rather, what? La kelev. Tashlichun oto. To the dog, you shall cast it. You shall throw it. Again from the top. V'anshe kodesh tihiyun li, and people of holiness, you shall be for me. Uvasar basader trefa lo tochelu, and meat in the field, which is pounced upon, which is torn, you should not eat. La kelev, to the dog, tashlichun oto, you should throw it, you should cast it. Let's see Rashi. I chose one Rashi out of this pas- pasuk. On the part of the Pasuk, on the part of the verse, Vyanshe Kodesh Diyunli and people of holiness, Tihyunli you shall be for me. Says Rashi Imatem Kdoshim Uprushim if you are holy and separated. Mishikutse nevelot utrefot, from the disgust of nevela, is meat that died without ritual slaughter. So if you are holy and separated, Mishikutse nevelot utrefot, from the disgust of animals that died by themselves, or animals which were, how does he? Mortally injured. Okay? Mortally injured animals. Hare atem shali. Then you are for me. Then you are mine. Vim lav. And if not, if you don't separate yourself from the disgust of eating meat which is not kosher, ain't chem shali. You're not mine. Okay, let's see today's question. Now, this is not the first time that Rashi mentions being holy. There's a parsha called Parshat Kedoshim. Kedoshim means holy. Rashi says over there at the beginning of the parsha that wherever you find a reigning in of illicitness, meaning restraining oneself from transgressing forbidden sexual relationships, so there you will find holiness. That's what Rashi says over there. In our verse, Rashi says that if you stay away from specific forbidden foods, the meat of that which was killed or died without ritual slaughter, without shechita, or that which was mortally wounded, so that's how you obtain holiness and to be with God. Shali. I ask, what's the connection between these two things? 
On the one hand, we see that to refrain, to restrain oneself and refrain from transgressing forbidden sexual acts is something that brings to holiness. And over here we see that refraining from eating forbidden foods is something that brings holiness. What's the, what's the connection between, between the two? So I'd like to show you two sources, mainly. The Re'em, the Mizrahi, who explains how both can be a source of holiness for a person who does the will of God. And I would like to show you a Maral, the Gurarye, who explains that there's a difference between the two. That separating oneself from forbidden sexual acts is something that is intrinsically brings to holiness.